Hello and welcome to Investor's Edge. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to pull up an options quote using our online trading platform and also how you can execute an options buy order. When we log in, we will be under the account information tab. We are going to click on quotes and research, which will bring us to our market center. This landing page has a lot of great information relating to major stock market indices, the Canadian US exchange rate, as well as major news headlines. In order for us to access an options chain for a particular company, we can either click on a symbol for a previously created watch list on the right hand side of the page, or we can search the company by typing in the ticker symbol or company name beside the magnifying glass icon in the top right hand corner. When we click on CIBC, it will automatically take us to a snapshot of the company under our Stock Center page. Here you can look at news, charts, technical analysis, and other financial metrics related to the company. To view the CIBC options chain, we will click on the Options tab. We now see a list of puts and calls that are sorted by expiry and strike price in descending order. If we are only focusing on call options, we have the ability to hide the put option chain and vice versa. We can also filter by strike price whereby all available expirations for a particular strike are grouped together. Then we have the ability to further filter which contracts are in the money, where the stock price is above the strike price, near the money, near where the stock is currently trading, or out of the money, strike prices that are above where CIBC is trading today. When we find an expiration and strike that looks interesting to us, we can click on the symbol and dive into a quote for that particular contract. We also have the ability to click on the three button icon to view option details, add it to a quote list, or go straight to the option order entry screen. If we select option details, we get an illustration of the option payout along with other variables that impact the price of the underlying option. It is important to note the information under option details is delayed by at least 15 minutes. Now we are going to pull up a real-time options quote. So here I've pulled up the January 22, 150 call. I know that this contract will expire on January 21st. This option last traded at $2.94, is currently bidding $3.05, asking $3.25. There are currently 20 contracts on the bid and 10 contracts on the ask. As you can see, no contracts have traded hands today, but there is an open interest of 3,300 contracts. Open interest is the total number of options contracts held by market participants at the end of the previous trading day. It is calculated by adding all the contracts from opened trades and subtracting the contracts when a trade is closed. So here, if I'm interested in trading this option, I'll simply click on the three button icon and select trade. Here you can see the details of the option are pre-populated in the trading fields. So I just have to select my account, hit buy to open under action, and type in the number of contracts I'm looking to buy. On the right hand side, I get a real time quote for the January 150 call. As I can see, it's bidding $3 and asking $3.20 at this time. And I use this information to determine whether I wanna put a market or a limit order in. Limit orders are often encouraged in periods of volatility or if the bid ask spread is very large to potentially avoid overpaying for your option. So I'm gonna put an order in for $3 and make it good for the day. After I select which account I'm looking to pay for this option order with, I click on next. This gives me the opportunity to review my order. Again, I'm buying 10 contracts of the January 22, 150 call for CIBC putting a limit price of $3 in, which will be good for the day. I enter my trading password and click Submit Order. Now, if you're looking to trade a particular option without wanting to pull up the option chain first, I'll first start on the Account Information tab where we log in. I'll simply click on Trading and then Trade Options. As you can see here, there are no fields which are pre-populated because we have to select which option we are looking to trade. So if I'm gonna pull up the same 
January 22150 call for CIBC, I simply have to go through the steps. Put in the number of contracts I'm looking to trade, put in my limit order, again, looking at the real time quote, and then plug the order in. We have gone over a call option example and the same steps would apply if we were highlighting put options. Now, there are many educational articles on options basics and strategies that can be accessed through our learning center. They are a great read if you want additional information on these investment vehicles before diving into trading. The Learning Center can be accessed by clicking on Learn. A new screen will pop up, and under Investing, we will click on Options. In order to trade options on your account, you would have had to select this feature upon account open and sign the appropriate options trading agreement. Please contact us if you are unsure whether your account is activated for options trading or would like to explore adding these capabilities. So there you have it. You now know how to pull up an options quote and enter an order. Happy trading.